What's up guys, this is Kellen from Dream Media Home Theater. If you guys are not already subscribed to our channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and give us a big thumbs up on today's video. Today we're gonna to be going over a couple of things. If you have an anamorphic lens or interested in anamorphic lens and you would like to get rid of the pin cushioning and the barrel distortion um, with lens geometry correction with the Mad VR, stay tuned because I'm gonna go walk you through it right after the intro. All right guys, so welcome back. The customer is running a JVC 3100 with the anamorphic lens. This is a 154 inch 235 screen and we're going to get rid of something that you might notice if you have the anamorphic lens is some warping on the sides and top and bottom not so much, but on the sides you start to see some of the geometry and, and warping um, of the image. That's simply the the lens creating that warp. And I'm gonna show you how Mad VR will get rid of that. So first thing you'll wanna do is you will wanna contact us and we will help you um, in setting up your Mad VR. But after it's all set up, um, I'm gonna run down and show you how to do this. You will have your anamorphic turned on or off based on if you're using a Epson or JVC or Sony projector. There'll be different settings there. Today, this is what we're gonna use because we're using the JVC. But I'll quickly show you how to get rid of the geometry. So we're gonna run the assistant and we're going to clear this. As you might be able to tell, this menu over here out to the edge is probably four inches from the top and down towards the center is much closer to the edge of the screen. So the barrel distortion of the image is starting to bow out towards the ends. So if you turn it back on, you can see that gets eliminated. And now we have a nice straight vertical line of these menus, movie posters, everything that's going to be um, on the image. So in order to set this up, you're going to turn it on, you're going to run the assistant, and once you have the screen parameter set, it will know your screen boundaries, but you will need to um, set your barrel distortion up for the geometry correction. So the first thing you'll wanna do is you'll want to go to the top left corner, any of the corners. And I like to start at the top left. And what we'll do is we'll set that corner. We click okay to the bottom corner. And basically I just want one pixel over shining into the bezel of the screen. Perfect, so we'll set that one. We'll go all the way to the right bottom corner. And we'll save this one. Perfect. So what I like to do is I like to go ahead and apply this. So we'll hit the green button. We'll go back down to run assistant. Now, you can already see it's getting better. Um, we, can, we still have a little bit of lines going over down the side. So what now what we wanna do is we need to go over, this was before I did any lens correct. You can kind of see the bow and the lines. Now that we have our corner set, we'll go take our midpoints in between the top left and right corners you just wanna make sure that whenever you move your midpoint, it's not moving your corners out of location as well. You'll kinda of wanna put it together like you're doing a screen. I always do left to right and then top to bottom. So again, I've already kind of done it already, but I wanted to stop to make the video. So now that we see that white line, we wanna get one pixel over into the bezel. Now we'll go to the top. Perfect. That's all we're looking for is perfect. And there we go. So now we hit the green button again to apply this. And now the image is not only stretched naturally to fill in the screen with the Mad VR's auto aspect ratio detection, but it is now eliminating the looking through a bubble effect 
when you're using an anamorphic lens. So that was just a quick video um, on the geometry correction on the Mad VR. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let us know down in the comments down below or feel free to reach out at dreammediaav.com. We would love the opportunity to earn your business. Like, share, and subscribe to today's video. Again, this is Kellen with Dream Media and we'll catch you in the next one.